Hi, Adrian Davis here, and I just wanted to talk for a moment about the role of technology in sales. And obviously, I think we're all aware that technology is playing an increasing role in the life of a sales professional. And I think, number one, obviously, we need to embrace technology. And I, I do, in my travels, come across a lot of salespeople who are you know, maybe a little bit older, but they're reluctant uh, to embrace technology. I think the younger folks coming up, they've grown up with it, and so it's just, it's just part of how they operate. But I think we do need to get to this place where we are comfortable with technology, and we're comfortable exploring the functionality of technology, and we're comfortable moving to new versions of, of various software platforms. And, and I think that attitude toward technology, where there's an attitude of resistance, and there's an attitude of embracing technology, we just have to develop this approach of embracing technology. It's not going away. In fact, it's going to in, in play an increasing role in our lives. So that's really important. Now, why embrace technology? You know, the, the argument is it's, it's, it's there, it's increasing. Is that why we should embrace it? Well, partly, otherwise we'll become obsolete, we'll be left behind. People will look and say, well, you don't really fit into what we're trying to accomplish here because you're not using the tools that we're trying to standardize on. But more importantly, these tools can make us more efficient. And that process efficiency is one of the big reasons why we want to embrace technology. There's so much coming at us. And, and when there's that much coming at us on a daily basis, we can become scattered in our thinking and, and just overwhelmed with our tasks. And what process efficiency can do is as things are coming into us, the various uh, inbox items, let, let me call them that, not necessarily email, but just inbox items, that if we have uh, processes set up, these items are triaged right away and they're put in appropriate buckets and dealt with appropriately. And so to the extent that we can use technology like CRM and the automated features in CRM, where leads are coming at us and opportunities are moving through our sales funnel, and we, we've seen enough of these that we can actually set up a predictable process to deal with them and deal promptly. Uh, you know, the, the early bird gets the worm. And so when people see that we react quickly, we're faster than perhaps alternative solutions that they're looking at, all of this is, is going to uh, work well for us. The other thing that this process efficiency does for us is it actually develops greater trust. That if we are consistent, that if people know that when they email us, let's say, and they ask for something, they're gonna hear back from us within hours or within certainly within 24 hours versus other people who are perhaps feeling overwhelmed and uh, somebody emails them and they just don't hear back from them. And the person means well, it's like, okay, I'll get back to that person. And they're just so overwhelmed that by the time they actually come to say, okay, it's time to respond, it's too late. And, and, and that inability to be consistent in how we respond and how soon we respond and the way that we respond destroys trust. So technology can enable us to uh, develop a level of consistency. The other thing, and I, I kind of started with this, that technology is not going away, it's in, taking an increasing role in our lives. The one thing I think we need to be a bit nervous about and watching is artificial intelligence. And that artificial intelligence is now making its way into sales technology. And, and that can be good and bad. If we are operating at the lower end, we're going to find that we're, be, we're going to be replaced by technology. That if we're just order takers, that technology is going to do very well at interacting with prospects, interacting with them in very appropriate ways, and, and providing value to them and providing what they need as they need it and looking after those transactions. So by embracing technology and understanding what it can do, it's going to make it very clear to us where we need to go. And we need to move up the food chain. We need to move up the value chain. And we need to be able to engage in meaningful relationships with prospects, helping them solve complex problems, and not just solve the problems, but solve them with a level of empathy that ultimately people need to feel cared for. And today, Technology is not able to do that. It's not able to give that feeling of empathy. And so we want to move up the food chain, make sure that we're able to think through and solve complex problems,
but to do it with a level of humanity, humanness, and a level of empathy. And no matter how much, at least in the foreseeable future, technology becomes more and more robust, it's not going to replace this human connection and this ability to jointly, with a real human bond, to jointly solve complex problems. So embrace technology, use it to make yourself more efficient, use it so that you're not stressed out and overwhelmed, that the technology is doing the heavy lifting for you with respect to the inundation of data and, and uh, requests that we're facing, but also use it as a jumping off point to differentiate yourself. Understand what technology can do and do well, but then understand what you, the value that you bring as a thinking human being with empathy, connecting with prospects, connecting with customers, and helping them foresee emerging challenges and solve complex problems.